Hello Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome to your reading. This is a general reading, so if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Also, Scorpio, this reading is timeless, so whenever you see this reading, knows when you're meant to receive it. What do we have for Scorpio? Affirmations for positive change. You may be going through changes right now. Cool. Affirmations for acceptance. So I feel like you're speaking positive things into your life. Acceptance and change. Give me a message for Scorpio, please. Spirits. Slow down and rest. You need it. So you may be very busy at this time. <laughs> we also have you are perfectly beautiful. You are perfectly beautiful, Scorpio. So I feel like you're really speaking positive affirmations into your life. You're saying things to yourself to uplift your mood your spirits, your to raise your vibrations, increase your confidence and self-esteem. Yeah, we have inner child healing. So you might be going deep within your background to heal that inner child, that part that is not seen by everyone, you know? That inner child has protection angelic protection so let's get some tarot let's see what the tarot has to say for Scorpio what's going on for Scorpio Sun moon and rising message for Scorpio please message for Scorpio <clears throat> Okay, Scorpio, what do we have? The Five of Swords. The Fool. So you're definitely looking at new beginnings. Lots of changes. The Justice card. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. Okay, Scorpio. So, your current energy is the Justice card. So, I feel like you're looking for karma. You're looking for a karmic re uh, reward. You're looking for some kind of balance in your life. Um, I feel like you're balancing out whatever this new journey is. And... Whatever you're conflicted with. I feel like you're moving away from conflict. You're kind of, you've turned your back on it and you're like walking away from it. You're like leaving it behind. You're focusing on yourself and you're focusing on your, on your journey. And I feel like you are... You're relying on yourself, Scorpio. But, you know, the pinnacles are the slowest moving of the tarot. They kind of take their time. They don't rush into anything. They kind of do things when time is right. So I feel like you're taking your time to end whatever this is. I feel like you're making plans to end it. You're making plans to move on. You're making plans to follow this new journey. But I feel like you're 
you've got to be kind of strategic about it. This is something that you really have to think through. You have to, you have to maybe save up. You may have to put money away for this. This is something that you can't just do on the spur of the moment. You, you're taking your time with this situation. Yeah, we have the magician. And the emperor. Wow. The devil card. The eight of cups. And the seven of pentacles. Okay, at the bottom we have the six of pentacles. So definitely, I feel like you are, you're not rushing into the situation. You're taking your time. I feel like you're taking your time because you're manifesting something. But you're also relying on someone's help, someone's generosity. And I feel like you're relying on this generosity to kind of give you kind of a jump start in this situation you may be leaving something behind that you know you're you're definitely manifesting something new something huge something new and something huge is in your future it's in the works and you're definitely making it happen Scorpio it's because we'll see with the magician you know by this time you have everything that you need in order to make your move you're, you've manifested this situation. If this is a move from a situation, if this is a move to end something, I feel like you're making your move. And you're making your move in the near future. This is not something that's far away. This is something that's very close. Because you're taking your control back. You are taking the lead. You're taking your control, Scorpio. You're not following anybody's rules but your own. And I feel like you're releasing yourself. You're releasing yourself from some sort of bondage, some sort of hold that someone has on you. You're being released from that because you have the devil. You also have the eight of cups. So I feel like you're walking away. From whatever this is, whatever this bondage, whatever this temptation, whatever this is holding you, you're walking away. You're leaving it behind. This no longer serves your purpose. So you're walking away into something better. And I feel like you have a lot of hope. You have a lot of strength. And I feel like you've had a lot of patience. But this is your hard work. The delayed actions. You know, that time that you had to take in order to put this into action. This is your victory. This is you waiting for your success. Waiting for it to become successful. And I feel like it's coming, you know. I feel like whatever this is, you're, you've got your victory for it. Tell me about this Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords energy? Tell me about this Five of Swords spirit. The Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone likes to talk a lot. Someone's very curious. Someone may ask you a lot of questions. And I feel like it may be just kind of probing for answers. But it, it, it turns kind of into an argument. Because I feel like this person who likes to ask questions, they, they kind of feel like they're going to receive the answer that they don't want to hear. So I feel like it turns into a conflict. It turns into a fight. Tell me about this full card spirit. Yeah, this full card, you have the, the Six of Pentacles. And 
I feel like someone's generosity is going to help you on your journey. Someone's generosity is going to push you into this. There, and it's almost like you didn't know that you had this opportunity until this person comes through with the advice. But someone's generosity is going to be very beneficial to your new journey. To whatever this is that you're going through. Whatever escape that you need to make. You know, I feel like this person is here to support you. They want to help. Tell me about this justice card, spirit. The high priestess. Yeah. I feel like you you learned a lot of answers. The answers are becoming clear. That's the reason why we have the justice card. You're you're leaning into your intuition. You're following your gut on this situation. You kind of know where it's going to lead. So I feel like that's the reason why you're looking for balance. You're looking for peace. You're looking for that acceptance. And I feel like the answers are becoming more clear. And because the answers are becoming more clear, I feel like you are, you're feeling more at ease. You're feeling more relaxed. It kind of gives you the opportunity to really deal with whatever this situation is. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles spirits. Page of Wands. Yeah, so you're taking your time in this situation, but I feel like this page, this page is going to give you some kind of information that's going to push things further a little bit faster. I feel like the, the delay is over. You know, I feel like it's time to take action. What is this Ten of Swords spirit? Give me a message for this Ten of Swords. You have the Two of Wands. So you definitely have help. You're waiting to end this. You're trying to make a choice whether you want to end this or not. Whether you want to follow through. And I feel like you're making the choice. You're making plans. You're thinking more about how you're going to go about it. What you're going to do. Where are you going to go. You know, this may be you making travel plans. You may be traveling across the world. No. Tell me about this magician. What is this magician? Tell me about the magician. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. You know, with the with the magician card, the magician has all the resources they need in order to manifest this situation. But the Queen of Pentacles, she's very resourceful. She can find even more resources that are going to lead her into this journey and be more successful. You know, she's very fruitful. If there's a resource to be found, the Queen of Pentacles is going to find it. And I feel like the Queen of Pentacles and the Magician, wow, I feel like the resources are going to be kind of endless. You know, this is like manifestation overload because the Queen of Pentacles 
she's very grounded she's very practical she's very resourceful which we've already said you know um, but the magician his whatever he's envisioning he's kind of manifesting that from heaven to earth but he's using his resources to do it and I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is the extra resources you need to make your manifestation come to life. All right. Let's see. Spirit, give me a message for this emperor. What is this emperor? The judgment card. Yeah, so I feel like this is a rebirth for you. You're finding your control. You finally made that final decision to take your control back. To do things on your own terms. To take back your respect. Take back your dignity. Take back whatever it is you felt that you lost. Because for some reason I feel like you lost something, Scorpio. And I feel like you're finding that. You're going through this spiritual rebirth where you're totally finding yourself again you're finding whatever it is that you feel you have lost this is actually really beautiful energy really healing really growing energy you know tell me about this devil card what is this devil the full in reverse yeah whatever this is binding you they don't want you to leave they don't want you to move on they don't want you to go on this new journey this is kind of holding you back it's like resistance to whatever you want to do this could be negative speak if this isn't a person that's you saying negative things to yourself to hold yourself back but if this is a person this is someone who doesn't believe the same thing you believe in. They may have totally different standards, totally different beliefs. This person may be holding you back from your dreams, from your aspirations. You know, they want you to do exactly what they want you to do. They don't want you to go on this new journey. They don't want you to have this new experience. They want you to stay grounded in this devil energy which is totally restricting totally blocking you in give me a message for the eight of cups please what is this eight of cups the nine of cups yeah you're moving into this situation you're moving from the eight of cups energy into the nine of cups so you're definitely leaving this energy behind you're thinking about this journey you're about to take and you're not letting, letting anybody tell you that you can't take it because you're the emperor. You're making your own decisions. You're making your own choices. So you're leaving this behind and you're moving into being more fulfilled, doing things on your terms, finding your happiness, finding whatever makes you happy, you know, going after your dreams. Tell me about this seven of pentacles spirit. What is the seven of pentacles? The nine of swords. You know, with this nine of swords energy, I feel like this is this person's last stand. Last stand to stop you from your dreams. I feel like this person is moving really hastily to stop something. To stop your progress. This may be someone who, who really likes to talk. They really like to communicate. If this isn't a person, 
Okay, let me switch it up a little bit. If this isn't a person, this is you putting the work in that's making these lifestyle changes that you need to go through. That's for some of you. For some of you, this is lifestyle changes. And I feel like once you leave the situation and follow what makes you happy, I feel like these changes are going to come very swiftly. Give me an outcome for this, Spirit. Um, I really want to know an outcome. Give me an outcome for Scorpio. Queen of Swords in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Chariot. Okay, at the bottom you have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like whatever this is that you're pursuing, Scorpio, I, I feel like... I feel like in some ways you're not being totally honest about the situation or someone's not being totally honest with you. Um, but I feel like you're moving forward. You're, you're, I feel like you don't even care if this person is being honest with you or if it's just, you know, talk. I feel like you're moving regardless because you have the will of fortune and you have the chariot. So I feel like, you know, regardless of whatever, I feel like you're moving. You're moving into this space that is only meant for Scorpio. You're taking advantage of whatever you need to take advantage of in order to make this happen. And I feel like it's something that's, that you may be very emotional about. You may, there may be something that you care about very deeply that you have to leave behind. But I feel like you're in a more loving space. You're in a more healing space. And I feel like you have support. You're being supported through this, Scorpio. You have protection. Let's see. There it is. Yeah, you have protection. You're being fully supported. Fully supported. You know? Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity. Uh, Oracle cards. What does Scorpio need to know about this situation? What does Scorpio need to know? Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Definitely. And I feel like you're working on your health as well. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So whatever this is that you're dealing with, I feel like making these moves are going to make you feel more healthy, more wise, more content, more happy. Um, it may have a huge effect on your health. You know, because they say when we're happiest is when we're in the best kind of health, you know. And I feel like your emotions are interconnected with how you feel. We have call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. Okay. And we also have voice of truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth, Scorpio. Yeah, so speak your truth. Speak your mind in the situation. Don't hold your tongue, um, especially when you know that you're right. We also have the Seas of Mintaka. Seeing potential bringing unconsciousness to light yeah that's being more aware having that enlightenment you know and we have light workers star seed service the world by being you 
So you may be of service or someone is of service of you um, because I feel like you're fully report uh, supported in this move. Someone is giving you a generous gift of help or generosity, but I feel like your resources are endless in this. You, you're going to have everything that you need. And this is your destiny. This is pushing you into your purpose and service. So you may be taking care of someone. Self-worth. Yeah, definitely. So whatever this is, Scorpio, I feel like it's pushing you into a better place. Okay, Scorpio, now here's where we ask a question. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to and ask your question. Um, otherwise, what answers do we have for Scorpio? Give me an answer for Scorpio in this for this reading a year from now. And the situation will improve. And look for a sign. And we have recovery on the bottom, Scorpio. Yeah, so I feel like that is the answer that you need. A year from now, you're going to be in a much better place. Your situation is going to improve, Scorpio. You may need to look for a sign. Take a look at signs and synchronicities. And kind of, if you're seeing numbers, look what those numbers are. You know, if you're seeing like... Um, One, one, you know, that's inspiration. That's your angels encouraging you, you know. Six, six is unconditional love, faith, trust, and healing. You know, so if those are just examples for you, Scorpio. So if, if you are seeing numbers, make sure to look up what those numbers mean. Those numbers have meaning. Your angels are trying to communicate to you through those numbers so yeah that is what i have for you scorpio if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity if you know your signs in your charts and until the next reading scorpio many blessings to you love and light